is making an angle of theta with the x axis initially the particle is at o we have applied a force p okay let px is the component of force along x axis component of force along x axis component of force along x axis 3y is the component of force along y axis okay component of force along x axis from, from the geometry here we mentioned that geometrical conditions from the geometry we know that p cos theta is along x axis that is px equal to p cos theta p sin theta is along y axis p y equal to p sin theta for this particle o we have applied a force f now consider the body o or the particle o to move to some other point c okay this particle is at o consider this particle moves by a some other distance c suppose let us assume this particle is moved through a distance to another point c initially the particle is at o by the application of this force the particle is moved through the point c okay this particle is moved through a point c under the action of force p such that this oc makes an angle of alpha with this line op this force line or this oc line makes an angle alpha with the force line now draw ca and cb if you see that draw here is the point here ca and cb perpendicular these both are perpendicular now draw ca and cb perpendicular to ox and ox and oy okay ox and oy from the geometry we can say that what is this cos of theta plus alpha cos of theta plus alpha it means cos theta it means adjacent side by hypotenuse side here the adjacent is oa and the hypotenuse is oc from the geometry we can conclude that what is here cos of theta plus alpha is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse which i have already mentioned oa by oc okay here oa by oc therefore oa equal to oc into cos of theta plus alpha oa equal to oc into cos of theta plus alpha similarly similarly we can also write that sin of theta plus alpha equal to sin of theta plus alpha equal to opposite side that is opposite side is ac by what is ac by adjacent opposite hypotenuse is oc here ac equal to ob okay ac equal to ob that is ob by oc therefore ob equal to oc into sin of theta plus alpha okay sin of theta plus alpha we know that the sum of the work done by the components px and py by the force if you see that by the application of we know that px is along x axis py is along y axis now this due to the application of along force px oa is moved to a point y due to the application of force along py o is moved to b from this we can conclude that px into distance displaces is oa plus p y into due to the application of i force distance displaced is ob okay now px equal to we already know that px equal to p cos theta component of force along x axis and component of force along y axis is py equal to p sin theta here px equal to p cos theta into oa 
OA is nothing but OC into cos of theta plus alpha plus PY P sin theta into OB what is mean by OB here we got OB OB equal to OC into sin of theta plus alpha therefore we can take common P into OC P into OC we can cos theta into cos of theta plus alpha equal to sin theta into sin of theta plus alpha here we got a formula P into OC cos A cos B plus sin A sin B we know that cos of A minus B cos of A minus B theta minus theta minus of alpha plus theta minus theta cancel here we got P into OC cos of minus alpha or nothing but P into OC cos of minus alpha is cos alpha therefore what is here here that is nothing but the work done okay that is we can say that work done by the force work done by the force work done by the force P in moving from O to C is P into OC cos alpha that is work done from the diagram we can directly say that here the P is the application of force this P and this this should be in the same direction resolving the force P cos alpha or OC cos alpha into P from this or we can prove di directly like this okay from this we can say that the work done by a force is nothing but the sum of the work done by its resolve the work what is the work done by this w equal to p into oc cos alpha both resembles the same so this we can say that work done by a force is equal to the sum of the work done by its resolved components okay in this we can also write the sign conventions sign convention sign conventions are upward forces are positive downward forces are negative upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative downward forces are negative next one is right side forces are positive right side forces are positive and left side forces are negative left side forces are negative next clockwise forces are positive clockwise forces are positive and anti clockwise forces are negative anti clockwise forces are negative next tensile forces are tensile forces are positive and compressive forces are negative compressive forces are negative in the next lecture we will solve the problems based on this okay here this means if we consider a beam which is having a force f1 and another force f2 and having a moment m1 and another moment m2 okay here the force f1 is acting downward direction and f2 is acting upward direction we know that upward forces are positive therefore this is the positive force this is a negative force this is the clockwise moment which is positive this is the anti-clockwise moment which is negative and if we consider a bar the forces away are tensile forces they are said to be positive consider a bar the forces toward are considered as negative okay this we have discussed and in the next we have solved we will solve the problem based on the virtual work